Hi everyone, welcome back to Vinova Collectibles. Today is the second part of the video we did on Friday. We're going through our latest CGC submission. This time it's the modern tier. And we're going to continue in the same style we did it last time. I actually, actually prefer doing it. Uh, do let me know in the comments what you think. But we're going to continue doing it with the pictures of after the pressing and cleaning when we've got them. And the predicted grades when we've got them. It's better pictures, better quality. Um, hopefully a better thing. So if you do like it, please do comment below and let us know. Uh, feedback's really appreciated. Um, without dive, without without further ado, not without diving in. That's what we're about to do. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So all of these came through customers at vanova collectibles dot com, um, and these will be going out. Well, these have gone out. Sorry, and. Um, We'll get them back. Once they do come back, you'll see them opened on this channel. Um, we'll talk about all of that later on. Got a list here, so I'm just looking at that. Right, so first up it is Darth Vader number three. This is the third printing. Um, this is the first appearance of Dr. Afra. Uh, Star Wars stuff is really, really hyped at the moment with the um, with the series on, on Disney+. Plus. They're proven to be very popular. I cannot wait for Obi-Wan. Um, and we've got the Ashoka series coming. We're going to have all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, Star Wars is popular. Dr. Afra, Afra could well appear. So that is the first appearance, the third printing with that lovely purple E background. Um, I didn't take a note of the predicted grades, but you can see them. You would have seen them on the image there. Next up is Fantastic Four 244. This is the first appearance of... Uh, Frankie Ray, who becomes Nova, Herald of Galactus. Um, again, spec-wise, a lot of people specking on anything in all Galactus, particularly with the Heralds. The Mar Marvel's got the rights back for the Fantastic Four. There's absolutely no chance they won't use Galactus at some point in the line, and people getting on top of that. Obviously, the big one's Silver Surfer, but beyond that, you've got Frankie Ray, you've got Terax, and all that lot. Uh, so yeah, very very nice book. As a as a big Nova fan, I love this book. Had it recently um, in stock, slabbed, uh, but that's still sold. But it is it is a great book. Um, speaking of great books, great books and Todd McFarlane goodness now with Incredible Hulk three forty. That is that classic classic cover of Wolverine and the claws with the Hulk reflection in it. Absolutely gorgeous book. Um, you know, high grade. This is super super expensive just because it is just a classic cover and it's one of the most recognizable covers um that Todd McFarlane's ever done and one of the most recognizable covers probably in all the comics um we've had so many homages of it it is a great cover and sticking with Hulk Hulk 449 that is the first appearance of the Thunderbolts um again spec wise Thunderbolts uh Avengers of some sort looks to be coming. We've seen all those introductions of all the characters and whatnot. So, again, that's a popular one. Thunderbolts would be re really, really good. Um, some really, really good characters that can be introduced there um, moving forward. Uh, so, you know, it's not the it's not the most expensive of expensive of books uh, in high grade. It really can be, but raw copies are a lot more affordable. Um, but yeah. Sticking with the spec, sticking with the moderns, of course this is all modern books, but um, I mean very modern, this is what, 20, 2016, uh, Invincible Iron Man 9, <clears throat> this is the first appearance of Riri Williams, who of course becomes Ironheart, um, Ironheart of course is coming to Disney+, Plus. we are seeing her in the Ironheart series, uh, I believe it's Armor Wars first, we'll probably see her in that, I can't remember if that's confirmed or not, but Again, Riri Williams is coming, Young Avengers, you know, all that jazz. It's it's no secret. I mean, it hasn't been confirmed by Marvel, but, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to work it out. And another one, uh, this is this is a great book, one of my favourite books. Uh, it's actually there. You can probably just about cut the corner of it. It is, of course, Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars, number eight, the origin of the black costume, the black costume that, of course, goes on to be discovered to be a symbiote, and it goes on to become Venom, and possibly one of the greatest Spider-Man villains ever, uh, greatest anti-hero ever, he, he's a great character, um, obviously a very, very, very nice book. Now they're moving on to something uh, different, it's not Marvel, um, 
Sandman number four. This is the first appearance of Lucifer Morningstar. Obviously the star of the Lufus, Lu, Lucifer. I'm struggling here. The star of the Lucifer series on Netflix. Uh, it wasn't Prime originally, I think. Um, but yeah, the star of the Lucifer series. Very, very nice book. First time I've seen this book uh, come across the desk. So it's very, very nice. Um, and it's always, it's always nice to see new things, you know, you get, you get the big books, the ones that you will see time and time again, Secret Wars 8, ASM 300, great books, love them, but it's nice to get some different stuff over the line. Uh, moving on, Savage She-Hulk number one, this is the first appearance of She-Hulk, again, we know she's coming, um, she's been confirmed, she's been cast, uh, we've seen a trailer, have we seen a trailer or a teaser? We've seen something, I'm pretty sure. Um, great character, very popular, got a lot of legs moving forward. Um, I, I really, really hope it's not that she's sort of taking the mantle of the Hulk. Um, Mark Ruffalo, you know, like Riri Williams is doing, like a couple of the other characters are. I really hope they're not because I feel like Hulk is just finally, the past few films have finally started to find his legs uh, for for Ragnarok and Infinite War and Endgame, um, a lot of potential. I feel like it could be a bit of a rebirth of the character, a bit like it has been for Thor during that period, because before that, he wasn't wasn't that great. He was given a new lease of life. So I really hope that the same is happening with Hulk and She-Hulk doesn't take over. Um, but nevertheless, great book. And, uh, yep, she's coming. Again, look, we're going to... This is going to be a massive trend for the rest of the year. Anything and everything Spider-Man with Into the Spider-Verse 2 coming out, confirmed. Spider-Man 2099, we know is appearing. We're going to see so many variants. So, Spider-Man India, uh, number one. This is the first appearance of Prab V. Parker, I believe it is. Um, I'm sorry if I've butchered that name, but, yep, yeah, Spider-Man books are so popular um, and... Any sort of um, any sort of Spider-Man spec at first appearance of a Spider-Man character is always going to have legs, um, so no surprises there. And sticking with that, Spider-Man Noir number one. We've already seen Spider-Man Noir played by the um, fabulous Nicolas Cage in, in the Spider-Verse, the first film. So that's there as well. Um, Strange Academy number one, the Campbell variant cover. Very popular cover. Um, don't don't sleep on this. It's gained gone a lot of popularity. Strange Academy. I've really really enjoyed reading. I really really want them to do a Strange Academy series. I really think it would be great. Um, gives us that sort of character, and I, and I think I don't think they'd do it with the X Men. I'd really like them to do an X Men series of like in the mansion with the teenagers and stuff. I, I feel like. X-Men's too marketable for them to just put them in a series. They'll be in a film, maybe they'll be a side series, but Strange Academy would be brilliant. Gives you the chance to um, have characters like Agatha Harkis have more of an appearance. Dormammu, because obviously Doyle, Dormammu, um, sort of things like that. I think it would be a really, really interesting concept and appear to a new audience and give us something else like that high school sort of drama thing. Moving on, a uh, character that isn't in the MCU, but everyone knows, uh, 4337, this is the first appearance, of course, of Beta Ray Bill, uh, famous character, very, very popular, um, it's a great cover, uh, this one, and 338, both very, very nice covers, um, yeah, pop popular book, the price can really, really creep up, uh, especially in high grade, um, and another four book that we have got is for number one from the 2014 2014 series which of course is the first well it's a complicated one Jane Foster is for on the cover um but you know in terms of first appearance it came in 425 uh prior to that it came in the what if series so honestly be so careful with um four in the first appearances because it is a very very competitive one. Uh, the market tends to speak. The market says uh, the What If series is the big one. Um, this one, 4 number 1 from 2014, does have the edge over 425, which I suppose is the first cameo, and it's kind of like that whole Wolverine drama all over again. But yeah, be, be careful with that, um, because it's, it's a bit of a mental one. 
Star Wars, let's go to Star Wars again. Star Wars Thrawn, number one. I'll admit I absolutely I know absolutely nothing about this book. Uh, it's one that's come across come across the come across the desk for submissions and uh yeah I virtually got up my reading list now on Marvel Unlimited to know a bit more about that. Um but yeah, popular popular book I believe and you know Star Wars stuff so hyped as we've mentioned. Uh, X-Men 221, this is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister, uh, this book massively, massively spiked, uh, was it, was it last year? I think it was, um, of course it was teased at the end of the, um, it was teased at the end of one of the films, can't remember which one, might have been Days of Future Past, but, um, but yeah, big villain, X-Men are coming back high chance he'll appear he's the sort of character that for me and if you feel i'm wrong comment is his i feel like he's the sort of character that could be like the baddie in a film um while the bigger baddie magneto brotherhood of mutants uh is being built up more um and, and that sort of appearance sort of like the malekith in four like you know he's a big enough villain to be in one film um maybe a little bit of long liberty but not enough to become maybe the big threat if you disagree, please do let me know, but that's just my feelings on it. Another X-Men is X-Men Annual 14. The first appearance of Gambit. Gambit we saw, didn't we, in uh, one of the films. Uh, but, I mean, very briefly, you had the Channing Tatum film that never was. Um, I'd probably say he's high on the list of X-Men characters to appear when they get their new incarnation. And I really hope so. I really hope they do... Uh, change things up a bit and not just bring about the, the the core team that we've already seen i hope they mix up a little bit um vengeance number one this is the first appearance of america chavez obviously appeared in dr strange who yeah she did yeah uh sorry lost the train of thought i haven't seen it yet but you know we all know she appears there um again young avengers a lot of hype there uh very nice book venom number three First appearance of Null. Um, this book is, I can remember this from the grading notes. This book is high grade. This copy is high grade. However, there is a pen mark on the front. I'm not sure if it will show on the image. In fact, I'll remind myself here, Josh, this is a reminder, get an image of it. There is a pen mark on it. Um, whether that is enough to warrant a green label, I'm not sure. Um, honestly, I have no idea what group, what CGC will do with that moving on uh getting towards the end now young avengers number one obviously the first appearance of a lot of the young avengers uh kate bishop being the main one um you know they're coming guys they are it's it's no secret um very very popular book uh with it being modern it can be relatively affordable in a sort of like low end low end nine nine point two sort of stuff nine point eight really blows out the water i don't think this is a nine point eight copy um, what else we got? Kanan, the last Padawan, number one, and Kanan, number 12. Uh, again, two popular Star Wars books. So this is uh, number one on screen now. Obviously, the first appearance of Kanan has proven to be a very, very popular series. And then number 12, which you can see on the screen now as well. Um, should have written down, should have wrote down the uh, significance of number 12. It's the first appearance of someone. It might be Thrawn off the top of my head um that is a complete guess again i've got that on my reading list to read then we are moving on to daredevil 182 this is that famous uh cover after the death of alex uh, after the death of electra of uh matt murdoch uh, crying over her grave and hugging the grave um that that one was sent via reslab um so we cracked that, we sent it off to clean and press it, and then hopefully it'll get a grade bump. And then lastly, it's the Holiful <clears throat> Speckleful. Don't have picture the pictures of these to go off. They weren't sent to uh press and grieve, press and clean, but it's X-Men number 80 from the 98 from the 19 from 1998 and X-Men number 50 from 1996. So we go, that is a full full batch of modern comics um that is the maximum that cgc will ship at one time uh smaller than last month's last month's was 33 so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get back them back in 25 and uh eight but yeah 
really 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 nice bunch you'll see it all when it comes up um comes up here so please do like and subscribe to the channel so you do see that when it comes back as well as all the other submissions that we've got if you've got books you want to submit whether it's direct to cgc or whether you want to uh, have them clean pressed cleaned and pressed first head to venova-collectibles.com click on the um cgc submissions and clean and press and uh, you have the details there. We'll handle it all um, using the brilliant RJC pressing. We'll we'll handle it all. We'll send to us. We'll send to them. We'll sort that all out, and then it goes off to CGC, and then we'll deal with all the deal with all the um, deal with all the stuff there. So you you don't need to worry about that. You just need to worry about posting it once. Uh, so yeah. So and yeah. I think that's that's it guys. Uh, massive thank you once again for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out runover-collectibles.com. As mentioned, if you've got stuff to submit or if you want to do some shopping, we've got some great slabs as always. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time.